In Iowa, so they say, it comes down to the ground game. How's that looking? If you want evidence that Romney has not taken off here in Iowa, look no further than this, his Iowa State headquarters. They won't let us in, but looking in, there's nothing doing. Over at Gingrich headquarters, we found them still setting up. Where's the energy? With Ron Paul. His office is smaller, but buzzing with activity. Second, the second what you have to watch now is see whether of the three, Bachman, Santorum, and Perry, which one of them really starts to galvanize the conservative support? Can any one of them get enough support to jump into that top tier? Again, Ron Paul. He's right steady. There. He's steady right at 18 to 20 percent. Probably the only one who sort of made Gingrich really squirm a little bit was Ron Paul, particularly when he talked to him about the money, Freddie Mag, this and that. He had a strong night on that stage. He's got money, he's got the organization. Could he pull off an upset, Ron Paul? Yes, Ron Paul can win in Iowa. Uh, look, Ron Paul is the campaign here in Iowa that has the most energy. Uh, you, you saw uh, you know, in my, my opening piece, I went to all the campaign headquarters. The only one that's buzzing with activity is Ron Paul's. And when you see the events that are happening out here, you're not seeing big crowds at Romney events. You're not seeing big crowds even at Gingrich events yet. But you are seeing huge crowds uh, show up for Ron Paul. So Iowa caucuses, there's no question Ron Paul could pull up. And there was a key piece of spin from the Romney campaign after the debate last night. They went out of their way to say that Ron Paul had a great night. It seems as if they're saying right now, look, if it's not going well for us, if we can't win, it better not be Newt Gingrich. Mm -hmm. Let's build up Ron Paul. Ron Paul has an organization. And George and I were talking in the green room. If there's a foot of snow and you have to get your people to the 1600 precincts, guess what? Ron Paul will have a driver to bring you to those precincts. That's so interesting. Let me bring in Kathy Obradovich from the Des Moines Register. Uh, Kathy, what Donna just said and, and what we've been talking about, does, do all the indicators favor Ron Paul in Iowa right now? Ron Paul has a very strong campaign in Iowa, and you have to remember that he has the experience of having come in in fifth place in the Iowa caucuses four years ago. He never, his campaign never really went away. He kept a, a, a presence in the state uh, for this last four years. He had key people on the state Republican Central Committee. Um, so he has been building up to this for a long time. Uh, Ron Paul has uh, energized new caucus goers. Uh, he energizes young caucus goers. Now, typically, those are not the most reliable people to go to the caucuses. You usually want old, established people who have, are veterans of the caucuses. Uh, you know, 65 plus is usually the demographic that you want. Mm -hmm. um, but Ron Paul has a unique ability to not only energize those people, but inspire a lot of loyalty. So, yeah, he is in a very good place. According to FEC reports, Federal Election Commission, in the third quarter, Ron Paul got more contributions from active duty military than the other Republican candidates combined. Well, look, Ron Paul won only one Southern County uh, in the 2008 uh, caucuses. Uh, 119,000 people showed up. If Ron Paul can enlarge the caucus electorate, get more voters to register that night as Republicans, Ron Paul can be what I call the X factor that night. Well, we know Ron Paul's not going, his, his caucus goers are not going to be dissuaded, or it won't be dissuaded uh, in terms of other candidates.